In this video, I'm going to look at just some simple animation with you uh, and using the timeline down below. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to start with a cube here and I have my move tool ready. And what we're going to do, we're just going to do some simple animation. So here's the timeline. It goes from 0 to 90 and, uh, and the Cinema 40 defaults at 30 frames per second. So right now there are 90 frames. This would make this a three second timeline. This is the time slider. It's this blue slider right here. I'm just going to make sure that's at zero. Um, this allows us to scrub in time. So bring that to zero. Um, so I'm going to make sure I'm selected on my cube. That's important. I'm at frame zero and I'm going to press this key. Okay. And what happens is, it doesn't look like anything happened, but down below right here, a keyframe has appeared. It's this gray shape that's outlined in a little bit of white. All right, so let's move to how about 20, and I'm going to move my shape on the red axis here about that far away. So at 20, I've moved this over here, and now I'm going to press this key. And you can see another keyframe has appeared. This keyframe is telling the shape to be over here, and this keyframe originally that we set is telling the cube to be over here. So if I scrub my timeline, you can see now I have moved the shape with animation. Okay, so now let's do something different. I'm going to go to the next, how about 40 frames, and I'm going to move this shape over here, and I'm going to press the key. So now you can see I'm, I moved it to here to here and now it's moved to here. But what if I wanted that to rotate as it was moving? Well, I can get back right on top of that keyframe and I'm going to use my rotate tool and I'm just going to kind of rotate it a little bit, doesn't matter, and reset that key. And what that's going to do is it's going to remake that keyframe to have that animation and movement at the same time. So now if I scrub ahead, you can see, here we go, and it's going to rotate as it moves. All right. Um, so let's, let's move to the next frames. Let's go to 60, and let's try to animate size. So maybe I'll just move it over here or I'm not going to move it at all. I'm just going to leave it right there. At 60, I'm going to scale. And over here, I'm just going to scale this smaller and set the key. Now, look at what happened. It didn't do its thing. Notice that it scaled it for all of the frames. So there's a different way of using scale in animation, which I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to undo, and the undo is over here, or Command Z Z or Control Z on a PC. And I'm going to undo that set keyframe and the scaling. And I'm going to show you now how to animate scale. So here's how. Uh, I'm at 60. I'm going to have to come over to the word cube. And you'll notice that there is this SSS, and I believe that stands for size. It's a 1, 1, 1. And this is the um, coordinates tab here. So it's a 1, 1, 1 the size. I can make this a 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5, and it'll be smaller. And you see these little dots here? These dots represent basically this, the set keyframe. So if I click that, notice they turn red. And when I click them at a 0.5, Notice it set a keyframe. So now let's take a look. You can see now it is animating the size. So that's how to animate size. It's a little bit different than move and rotate, which you would use the key. And in this case, for scaling, you use these. So give this a try. Try to animate some shapes using these techniques I just showed you. Uh, keep an eye out for my next tutorial. And good luck.